Hey guys, how's it going? Today, we're in my bathroom. I'm gonna go ahead and repair a toilet paper holder. Uh, my son was on the counter, kind of slipped off, his foot hit the toilet paper holder and it broke. So I'm gonna show you what happened. Basically, it did knock this thing out right here. So I haven't had a chance to fix it. The screw just pulled out of the side panel here. And I'll go ahead and show you this pull out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all this that pulled out. This is a like a particle board. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cut this out, try to get it flat, or you can try to you know chip it out, but it might not come out as easy. So we'll try to clean it up a little bit and then we'll see what we could do from here. Try not to pull it because sometimes you can pull the finish off. So you might, might want to cut this here just so you're not gonna pull the finish off. So that's what we're dealing with. And I'll set up the camera and we'll go on from there. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this. So we're gonna go ahead and cut around here nice and clean and just take this off. I don't wanna pull it, cause like I said, you could potentially pull the material. We wanna try to not do so much. If you wanna bend it, you can kinda get a little seam on it, but other than that, there's not much to it. So whatever's in here, just clean up. So the key is to reattach this piece. I'll show you the piece that we're talking about reattaching. Once again, we're gonna reattach this right here. So there's two options. One option is we could try to take a whole saw and cut this larger and then put a plug and then put another piece of wood on the backside. That would be the more uh, time consuming option. The other option is just to get a little piece of wood, put it behind it and just reattach this and you'll be good to go. Uh, you're just gonna have to get a longer screw. So I might go with option number two, just because the fact is, this is the quickest route. Let's go ahead and remove this piece, this black piece, just to make sure it's gonna fit properly. All right, so I went ahead and removed this piece. This piece was attached to this piece. So we'll go basically mount this, and then this would go right over it. It'd be like this. To release it, there's a little hole back here and you release it. So that tab is supposed to go where this hole's at, so you push it down and it comes out easy. This is gonna get mounted, and then once this is mounted, this is gonna go right over it. Keep in mind, uh, you just wanna make sure that you got the space for your toilet paper. So don't move it over too much further in, because you could potentially be restricting the space for the toilet paper. So once this is on there, we'll be good to go. So the question is, how do we go ahead and mount this piece to this panel? This is a face frame cabinet box, and in most cases, the cabinet box that has a face frame, you're gonna be having a half inch side panel. If it's European style with no face frame, it's gonna be three quarters of an inch. Face frame, if you're not familiar with that, is basically, this is the front of the cabinet here. See a door and everything. And you're gonna have this piece right here, which is a face frame. This is what you see on the front. This is how it looks from the back side. So that's a face frame. European style cabinets, you won't have this. It'll just be a panel that goes straight to the front and the doors will basically line up with it. This is a half inch. The reason why I'm telling you this is because if you're gonna try to do what I'm doing, bear in mind the size of the screw you're using. This is the original screw that came with this, so you can see it's very short. It's made to go into this type of material and that thickness. I'm going to be going through it with this screw. It's not a big deal because I'm gonna use this wood backer on the other side of the panel. And the way this is gonna work is, I'm gonna open the door, on the other side I'm gonna place this piece of wood, and then I'm gonna just put maybe four screws on each corner to attach it to this right here. So if it's, this is on the inside, you're gonna have that. And then I could go ahead and insert this screw uh, to mount the toilet paper holder. So I'm gonna show you how that works. The reason why you wanna be careful with the size is because if you got a piece of wood that's not too thick, or just might be this thickness, it's three quarters of an inch, which is gonna be the same thickness of the face frame. All face frames are three quarters of an inch in most cases. If you end up trying to mount something like this, three quarters of an inch to something like this, and you're using a screw that's too long, you're gonna be able to see the tips of the screws on the outside of this box. So you wanna make, make sure that you're not gonna put a screw in and then come out on the other side, because then obviously it's not gonna look good. 
So make sure you use a, the right length group. This is gonna be just perfect, but I'm still concerned a bit protruding. So I'm just gonna use some washers I have, some plastic ones that I had from a TV mount that I installed. So I'm just gonna use this just to try to prevent the screw from going all the way in to try to keep that distance away from this side panel. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna mount this on the inside part. A good thing to do also is pre-drill your holes on the corners so you know where the holes are at and so you don't have any issues with alignment or anything. And you'll see on the other side where you need to be or you should be able to see it. I drill a hole through it so if you want to do that it, with your existing hole that you have there just put a longer screw in there and drill through it so you see where it's at and then you can line this up perfectly so you can mount this to it. All right, so this is the inner part of the cabinet. This is the main hole. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of take off anything that protrudes. You can use a blade on this. It's just pretty soft. I went ahead and attached the screws here. You could do this two ways. You could also use some adhesive back here, like some caulk, stick it on here, and then have the screws. That, that might be a little overkill. These four screws are overkill, but you know that's not gonna be an issue once it's all said and done. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to install this. I got the camera in my way. We're gonna go ahead and put this here and then insert the screw. But basically you got the concept here. Just make sure when you put the screw in there that it's not gonna go out the other side. So just double check that before you, you guys go extra hard with drilling these in. So I'm gonna tighten these down, make sure they're nice and flush so there's no space here. But I gotta get the camera out of my way for me to do that. This is installed, you see the four screws. So it's holding on pretty good. Now I have something to attach a toilet paper holder to. All right, so this is where it's gonna go, uh, this piece here. If you notice, there's a mark right here. So what I end up doing is putting a level to it. So if I put this here and put a level on it, you can't see the level, but it's going to be pretty level. So just make sure that you do that just so it's not going to be uneven. Obviously, if you cover the hole, it should be pretty level already, but I just want to make sure. So if you look here, I removed the cover. So I had this on there, it was here, so I just removed it. Once again, it's just like a little piece that you push up and it will release. You got to wiggle it a little bit. So I did remove this so I could get this part as level as I could. Next. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. So if I do this here, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put the screw in and see if it goes in. Sometimes the screws go in pretty easily. Sometimes they give, you know, if you don't have enough bite, then it kind of doesn't go in as good as it should. Now, you see how this is pushing down? That's because it's going in the original hole. So we gotta make sure it's not gonna go in that hole because it's gonna throw you off. So I'm gonna angle it slightly up. And it's in. Sometimes if there's an, another hole there, it's gonna the screw's gonna wanna try to follow that path. If you go ahead and angle it, uh, the angle that you want it to be, normally I'll find a new path to go down. Now as far as this being level, it's uh, about there. Since it's not on the line, it went up a little bit. Let me see if I can drop it. And this is right by you, so it's not nothing you're gonna notice. It's not like it's hanging on the wall. All right, it's level. All right, so that's that. See, this is nice and tight, it's not moving. The other one I tightened up, just kind of tightened the screw a little bit while I was at it. All that happens here is you just go ahead and reinstall this. It just pushes on. There, that's it on. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this other side. Now you guys can see me in my reflection sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Push that on. Now what I'm gonna do is just double check the, uh, make sure everything fits right. So obviously this goes in, it's just a regular toilet paper holder. That's it, perfect. So that's how you install a toilet paper holder. Really simple. Obviously this was in a full installation of a toilet paper holder. All it was, I was repairing this because this broke off, my son was sitting on the counter, 
and he kind of slipped and he, his foot hit this and it broke. I was just showing you how to repair that. If you have a gaping hole, don't worry, you can still use that same hole. And then once again, if you come here, you can see that we put this block in. We got four screws and you can actually see the, the screw that we use is longer. So it did grab onto this piece of wood. So that's it guys.